What is up guys, this is Fern here with another tutorial which can be quite useful um, in some ways, uh, it really depends what you're doing, but it's going to be the um, interactive render region within Cinema 4D. So um, I'm in the middle of rendering something out for Control Freaks at the minute, um, but I'm just going to show you uh, if I just delete the camera and then do my own little thing. Now you could always, don't mind the head, it's first person, so... <laughs> um, yeah, say I wanted to adjust things, and I thought, okay, that's done. I'll click and I'll render it. Nope, don't like it. Change something, render it. You know, it's, it gets a bit annoying. So what you can do is you can come up to the Render tab and come to Interactive Render Region, and it comes up with this little box. Now, you can adjust this box to however big you want it and that. Um, you can have it whole screen, but I, I, te I, don't, I tend to have it kind of like in the middle. Um, so then what you can do is you can start making adjustments um, and then it will render out whatever the camera sees here. Now obviously this scene needs global illumination um, but I've, I've taken it off just for the purpose of the tutorial or it would take too much time up. But it still takes a bit of time because of the lighting. So yeah, that's as you can see is that done? No, that's not done. As you can see though, it's obviously rendering this little section out. So if you say if you wanted to just render I don't know, oh what do those books look like with the light in or something, I don't know, you might you might want to. I just zoom in and then oops. It's going a bit slow now. It's because I'm rendering. Come on, there we go. I just render out those books. And you don't have to press anything, you just leave it and it will automatically do it. I'd suggest doing this without lighting um, otherwise you'd be waiting a long time for each frame to render um, but it depends you might what you might want to but it can be in you know used in some some ways and make just things a lot easier for you but um, I haven't really used it yet but I did use it on this guy um, to see what the control freak t-shirt was like, um, what the controller was like, just doing stuff like that. So instead of rendering the whole thing, just I'll just use the interactive render region. And there we go. So yeah, that's kind of an easy little tutorial again. Um, nothing too crazy. Um, and it's really easy to use. So, you, you know, you might find use for it. So, you know, that's why I put this tutorial up. Even though I don't use it, some other people might. And they might love it, so that's the whole point of these tutorials. Um, so, yeah, I hope you like this, guys. Please like and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.